Welcome back and say hello to Jeffrey Mendock of Sp Springfield Contemporary Theater and Terry Kelly, who's pretty much straight from Broadway. What a treat. Welcome, you two. Thank you. Oh, Thanks for having us. us. I am delighted to have you here. There's a big event going on for Tim Contemporary Theater, your big gala. Yes, ma'am. It's this weekend. Yep, we're so excited. Uh, tomorrow night at the Old Glass Place, we are... Uh, putting on uh, our gala entitled uh, Together Wherever We Go, kind of as an ode to uh, Springfield Contemporary Theater's rebirth out of uh, the, the pandemic. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming from the title there's going to be song and uh, things like that. Many songs. Uh -huh. Many, many songs. Uh -huh. By me. <laughs> that is why you're here. And you, no connection to Springfield. We're no just connection lucky to that you're Springfield. visiting. Springfield, yes. I knew Alex, who is the music director. Okay. We had done an event together um, pre pre-pandemic right. actually okay um, and so he called me and said hey would you like to come to Springfield this is where I I live and I bandy yeah. about so I was like yeah I want to come I'm and so sing glad for you, you guys did. yeah would you yeah. give us your story I mean we're, we're telling you you've been on Broadway and yes. obviously you don't start on Broadway so <laughs> give us a little bit well, of your story. well I started on no well the, the, um, <laughs> no. I, get I was it. born and raised in Madison Wisconsin so mm -hmm. I'm a Midwest gal mm -hmm. um, started performing in Broadway shows around 1994 so I'm a little older than I look. <laughs> <laughs> or I was a child then. You were a child. You were a um, child. But, but sure. I've worked a lot in regional theaters, and I've worked a lot in on Broadway, national tours, actually. I've come through oh, Missouri okay. a few times. Right. I came through with Anastasia, mm -hmm. and I came through with Beauty and the Beast a few years ago, too. Nice. So, yeah, that's that's kind of... That's what I do until the pandemic hit, and then I became an unemployed actor. <laughs> that was a hard time for people yes. who do what you do. Yes, a very. I mean, that had to be disconcerting because there's very no theater odd. to go to, and then yeah. there's, you can't go really anywhere. It was, and... it was very odd because I've performed since I was about 13. Wow. I've always done community theater uh -huh. or things in school, and then I became a professional actor. So to go all that time without, you know, without performing was a really different time for it's me. Like that profession no longer existed. Yes, it was. It was my worst nightmare come true. It has to be yeah. thrilling, though, that yeah. Broadway has reopened. Yes, it's very exciting. Baby steps, baby steps. But I'm so excited to sing tomorrow night. I'm it's sure you be are. So exciting. Talk about the music that you sing. What do you do? Well, I'm going to be singing tomorrow night. I'm going to be singing a lot of songs from Broadway. Um, I'm a big belter, an old time belter, like Ethel Merman or Judy Garland. Okay. That's the kind of sing stuff I really like row. to do. Exactly. Baby, don't even turn my mic on. There it is. <laughs> I love it. I'm so, a singer. It's a lot of old-fashioned music that I really love to sing. A few contemporary songs, but mostly, okay. you know, old throwbacks, which is kind of what I do. Wow, so, what a yeah. treat to have her here. You're huh? telling me, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's going to be great. So you're going to have a rehearsal tonight. Yes. This happens tomorrow. So what else happens tomorrow at the gala? Absolutely. So uh, we have uh, closed out dinner reservations for the event, but there are still concert-only tickets in case anybody wants to hear some of those uh, classics as sung by Kelly. Uh, tickets are $40 for adults, $25 for students. The concert starts at 8 p.m., like I said, at the old glass place. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a cash bar available, and uh, the concert's going to go about 90 minutes. Yes. It is backed by a 20 piece orchestra of all local musicians. Oh, Alex wow. and all of those musicians are donating their time because this is a fundraiser for, yes. the, for the contemporary theater. Um, so if you're looking for something to do that is, uh, you know, not typically what you can find in Springfield downtown on a Friday night, I think we got something for you. A 20 piece orchestra and classics, and they don't call, call them classics for nothing. That's right. I mean, right. these are yeah. the songs that people know. No. Yes. Absolutely. And yeah. a few they don't, so oh, yeah. just a couple. Throw, you got to yeah, throw a couple in people there. People on their toes. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your next project looking like? Well, actually, I just got a job the other day. I'm Great. going to be performing in Florida in the spring in a show called Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, if anyone knows Great that show. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm very excited to oh, do that. Yes. Yeah. Now, are you based out of New York? I or? am. Okay. I live there now. I live gotcha. in Brooklyn. I got okay. married the, uh, back in the pandemic on Zoom. <laughs> On Shout Zoom? out to my hubby. Hi. Congrats. Congrats. Yes. And congrats. So, yeah, exactly. I am based out of, out of New York now. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. Well, we're glad the world is back open for business. Yes. Broadway is back open. And yes. that you are here to bless us with your music and your talent. I'm so excited to have you both here. Thank have you. fun tomorrow night. We Thank certainly you. And will. come back anytime. Okay. <laughs> Next time you're in town, we're going to have you sing on the show. I'm going to take you up on that. No mic necessary. Deal. All right. Coming up, Clint from iHeartRadio is here to talk about the big concert and in